In this lesson, we're going to look at factorizing trinomials. When you factorize, you write um, things that you multiply to get that number. So if you are factorizing more than one term, this is a, a trinomial. You can have a monomial one term, binomial two terms, and a trinomial three terms. But now we're going to look at factorizing a special kind of a trinomial, a quadratic trinomial. A quadratic trinomial, this trinomial means we have three terms. So this is our first term, our second term, and our third term. Quadratic means you'll have a number that is an x squared, then you have another number with an x and just a number. Then this is a quadratic trinomial. The one that has an x squared, we'll call it a first term, and this one we'll call it the middle term, and that will be called the last term. Now when we are, when we are factorizing, what you're going to do, these are the steps that you're going to follow. There are actually three steps that you're going to follow. The first step, you're going to write two brackets, in each bracket, you write an x, and then you find the factor of the last term, the factor of the number that is there, and then you, you find the factors when you add them up, they'll give you the middle term. So let's look at an example and see how we will follow these three steps. We're going to look at our example one. Our example one is x squared, that's the first term, plus 5x, our middle term, and plus 6. Now, Let's look at the first step. They say write two brackets. Because this is an expression, you don't have an equals to something. If it was written like that, it should be an equation. Because it's an expression, we're going to start by writing equals to here. Then we write our two brackets. Right? That's our first step. The second step, in each bracket, write an x. So we're going to write, go to this bracket, write an x here. Go to that bracket, write an x. When you multiply this x times x, you're going to have the x squared. The brackets means multiply, because when you are factorizing, you are finding things that you multiply and giving you whatever you had before. So we're going to have x times x and get an x squared. Now, the last step, we find factors of the last term that adds up to the middle term. Now, our last term is 6. What are factors of 6? Six? 6 has more than one factor. So the first factor is 6 times 1, it's 6 and a 1. Now let's see, if we add 6 and 1, will you get the middle term? 6 plus 1 will give us a 7. It's not the correct factor. So you go to the next factors. The next factors is 3 and 2. 3 times 2 will give me 6. Will 3 plus 2 give me the middle term? 3 plus 2 give me 5. So it means those are the correct factors. So what are the signs for the factors? Because it's positive, we're going to have both of them being positive. So you just take them, we plug them in in the equation. The order doesn't matter. You can start with a 2 or you can start with a 3. According to a uh, commutative property that we're taught in grade 8, it doesn't matter how you write them. This is our first example. This is how you've done, you have factorized the trinomial. Let's look at the next example. Our example two, let's look at our example two. According to our notes, we write two brackets when we are factorizing a trinomial. Then the next thing we write an x here and an x there. Then we write factors of 12 that when we add them will give us 11. So 12 times 1 is 12. Now it's a negative 12. Positive 12 times positive 1 will give us a positive 12. So it means our signs are not correct. So we must make one of them negative so that we get the negative. Which one? If we make this one negative, positive 12, negative 1, we get the negative 12. Now when we add them, will we get a positive? Plus, minus 1, we'll get positive 11. Because the signs are not the same, we're going to subtract and take the sign of the bigger number. So we're going to get 12 minus 1, we're going to get 11. So these are correct. Then this one is positive 12, and the other factor is negative 1. Then that's it, you are done. Then let's look at the last example, example 3. Look at example 3. With example 3, it's slightly different from the other ones. Um, when you look at the first term, it has a 2, and with the other ones, it was a 1. So... When you have that, you go and try and find whether you'll have a common factor of 2 in each one of them. In this case, we actually do. 
So you take out that common factor. So you'll have 2 into 2 times x squared will give you 2x minus 2 times 6x will give you 12x and then 2 times 9 will give you 18. Then when you look inside the bracket, now it's similar to the ones that we're doing before. So you're going to follow the steps, the first steps, open two bracket. Step two, put x in each bracket. Then step three, you find factors of the last term that will give you the middle term. Factors are things that you multiply. So you find things that you multiply, they give you the last term, but when you add them, they give you the middle term. Now the first factors that we have for 9 is 9 times 1. So when I add 9 and 1, I get 10. I don't get a 6, so that's a wrong factor. I look at another factors. We have 3 and 3. When I multiply 3 times 3, I'll get 9. It's correct. But when I add 3 plus 3, I'll get a 6. But on my question, I have a negative 6. So it means here, I must multiply a negative 3 with a negative 3. Negative times negative will give me positive. 3 times 3 will give me 9. But when I add them, minus 3, add minus 3 will give me minus 6. So it's correct. So these are the factors that will work. So the first factor is minus 3, the other factor is minus 3. So this is how you do it. This is the end of our lesson. I hope you get more, more examples and practice this. It's not something that is difficult and it's something that is required from you up to grade 12. So you really need to know how to factorize trinomials. Thank you for watching.